that's the 1958 Plymouth Belvedere coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? I don't know if I should say welcome horror movie fans or welcome classic car fans because we're going to look at one of the cars that made Stephen King very popular. The 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. I'm talking about Christine. But anyway, <laughs> let's go down and check out this offering from Chrysler Corporation as we look at it on our bench. Now it's time to take a look at the 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. And hopefully when I open the box that I won't release any evil spirits like in Christine. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so we've got the instructions to start us off. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, let's not get too weird. Um, yes, this was one released by Racing Champs, but this was also a kit that came out with that design team, like I say, that was trying to compete with the high quality of Ravel Monogram and Tamiya. So here we have this amazing Chrysler engine, Plymouth engine, with the rockers exposed in the cylinder head as well as a separate breather tube and the uh, carburetor a nice air cleaner and there's our wheels and tires going together and the interior has the separate gauge faces and dashboard panels as well as separate side panels and seats and posable steering with the actual spindles actuating the tie rods, which is very nice, and independent rear axle and suspension components, which go nicely to your underpan, and then your windows pop in there. And what's nice about these kits is, if you've noticed some of the earlier kits like that were designed back in the 70s and that, they would have bars going across to the back windows. These ones just have the glass cut very close to the edges with pins and holes drilled, or holes drilled in that go into pins, so that your glue is actually located in one little location instead of all over underneath on the inside. And then you've got your hood and your radiator with both radiator hoses going in, as well as your rear view mirrors on the sides. And there is your tail lights and rear end assembly going all together and the front end with separate wiper blades. So it's a very nice kit. Again, by a very good design team. So let's take a look at their plastic here. We're starting with the floor pan, and as you can see, they actually have the, um, oh, what do you call these things again? <laughs> Where your feet go, the rubber floor mats. Uh, must be getting tired here. And look at all that crisp detail underneath on that body pan and the fuel cell. I'm going to keep the body in the bag. <laughs> the body bag. Hmm, it is Christine. But notice the nice details up top, the tuck and roll in the headliner, as well as your uh, the sun visors. Hmm. I must need a map here. There's a nice texture inside the uh, side pieces, side panels, as well as Belvedere. Nice tight little script on there. So quite a nice model for adding your bare metal foil onto. And then there's your frame. Nice separate detail. I have some flame decals here with T960K. Ohio license plates. They actually give you three of those in case you mess one up. So, something nice there. There's the front torsion bar suspension. The springs are actually in these bars. They've got a twisted spring inside. So one of the Plymouth things. Looks like I started to work on the engine or something. But there's your front steering. There's some more 
are the undercarriage pieces, the upper B arms. And then your steering wheel. They also include these side skirts here if you want to put skirts on the wheels. And here we have that nice dashboard. And the radiator. Goodies they had back in the 50s. And these are your, should be for your license plates. There's the chrome parts tree. It's quite a lot of detail. You have chrome air cleaner there. A little bit of detail in the tail light bezels. Those are very nice. Very, very nice. crisp detail inside there. And there's our glass. <laughs> yes, I was working on this kit. Okay, the truth be known. Here's all our interior pieces and the tires. So I'll just move this to the side. Take a quick look. Yeah, it's just a start on this. And here's another seat that has the three-quarter split in it, so maybe Ford wasn't the first with it. See the note the ashtray. Fold that seat in so people can get better access inside. And there's the back seat. You'll notice quite a lot of nice detail in there, including a back speaker. And these two would be for rear window defrost. Or the other way around. <laughs> have to look at the Plymouth manual for that. There is the hood. That was nice bracing underneath. And there we have our firewall. And that would be your heater up there. And the engine block I was gluing together. But have a look at the, the nice rocker arms on the top. Even though this is glued together, I mean, you can see how amazing this transmission and engine are. And what else do we have? There's the hubcap, one of them. Almost looks like a 55 Chevy hubcap. And then you have your tires again, the same tires as were in the Edsel kit. And there's your white wall insert. And now oh, let's just put the hub cap in. So that's what your wheel would look like once completed. You can see it was quite a nice, easy way to put a wheel together. So I think I will end this review here, which would conclude our review of the AMT Ertl 58 Plymouth Belvedere. Christine! Christine! Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to look at Christine. I mean, the 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. You know you must have this car. You must. You must. There's just something drawing you to it. Ha 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 ha. This is a car that cannot die. However, anyway, enough of that creepiness. Check us out online at www.monster-hobbies.ca, where you could even be lucky enough to click on a model car there and buy it for yourself because we can ship around the world you know what else we can do we can ask you to subscribe here and click that bell notification so that you know when a new what's in the box video is coming up and please check out these three videos so that you can see some other cool unboxings and until next time always watch your back around christine